At Northwestern's Feinberg School of Medicine, a unique project called NewGene is helping advance genetic knowledge. One of only a few academic gene banks in the U.S., the project helps researchers and doctors better understand the role genetics plays in diseases such as cancer, diabetes, and heart disorders. Since 2002, volunteers like Anna Lampian have been donating DNA samples to Northwestern University's New Gene Project. One, two, three. You okay? I'm good. Okay. I heard about this project because I work at Northwestern, um, and a lot of people were talking about the research that was being done. Um, I work in a genetic research facility, so I hear about a lot of the breakthroughs that are going on and a lot of the um, hopes and aspirations for the researchers. And when I heard about this project where they were collecting a data um, sample from different people, I wanted to contribute to that because any way that we can help move medicine forward and help with genetic research, I feel is going to benefit the human race in the long run. NewGene is a biobank. It's a place where we collect samples that are donated by participants in the New Gene Project. And um, we, we, it consists of really three parts. It consists of a sample of DNA that they voluntarily give us. It consists of a questionnaire where they fill out some information that tells us about their health status. And then the final piece that it has in it is information that's mined from their electronic health records. What we really want to be able to do is use that information to help predict what diseases you might get, to th identify whether or not a particular drug might work in you, um, and to think about how we can better treat people based on a better understanding of what the genetic basis of their disease is. Once the blood is drawn, it's taken to a central processing lab where the volunteer's DNA is extracted, providing a wealth of information. Dr. Nadra Jafari is the director of the core facility. We play a very important role in that project. Our role is to make sure that the DNA is extracted in, in a correct way, in a timely manner, at a high quality, and reliable for investigators to use. To ensure the confidentiality of participants is maintained during the process, NewGene uses barcodes to identify volunteers' medical information in DNA samples. No names, social security numbers, or birth dates are used. In the end, after extracting DNA, this is our end result here. And this small volume can help hundreds of researchers with their projects and their experiments. The DNA is then stored in freezers and ready for researchers to use. For Margaret Urbanic, assistant professor at the Feinberg School of Medicine, the DNA and medical information made available by NuGene for patients that have diseases and those that don't is both helpful and cost effective for her research. NuGene helps us in multiple ways. On the most basic level, it helps us by providing controls or unaffected people for our genetic studies. In the past, we used to have to recruit those ourselves and it would add to the length and the cost of the study. Now, we can just ask for these samples and they're available. We can share them among multiple investigators so there's less duplicated effort both at recruiting the samples and also since we're often using the same way of measuring genetic information, that information can be shared among um, individuals using specific subjects as controls so we don't have to duplicate that and that can save us thousands of dollars. So far, NuGene has been used to support studies that will help research in areas such as heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and diseases of the nervous system. With the valuable genetic information provided by projects like NuGene, the way medicine is practiced is starting to change. It's not fantasy. There is an FDA-approved uh, kit called Mammaprint, which actually uses 70 different genetic markers to predict whether or not a breast cancer is likely to be recurrent or not. So already today, this kind of information is changing healthcare, and I think this is just the tip of the iceberg.